going in depth now on that important distinction as Florida moves to lower its vaccination age. Under the new order, the youngest the state allows to get vaccinated is 18 years old, even though Pfizer is authorized for those 16 and older. ABC Action News reporter McKenna King takes a closer look into why the vaccines have different age parameters and when we might see those ages lowered. It all comes down to the legal side of things. Pfizer conducted trials in those ages 16 and up, while Moderna and Johnson and Johnson conducted trials in those ages 18 and up. There are likely several reasons for this, but a big one. The 16 and 17 year old requires parental consent. Avoiding that extra step helps the first trial get up and running quicker. But Pfizer did take that extra step to get parental consent, and their first trial included 16 and 17 year olds. Moderna and Johnson and Johnson did not. Scientifically, I cannot think of a reason biologically that a 16 year old is that much different than an 18 year old. But legally, they can't vaccinate a 16 year old when their EUA clearly states 18 and up. This is legal. So the authorization, if you look at the letter, it's specifically for 18 and above. So no company is going to take the chance of, you know, vaccinating, saying that they can vaccinate under that because they're legally responsible for anything that happens, you know, in the you know, kind of very rare circumstance that something might be different. But now both Pfizer and Moderna are conducting additional trials for those 12 and up and for those under 12. Experts expect results from the 12 and up trials sometime this summer, providing a glimmer of hope for teachers and students heading back to school. There certainly is a lot of interest, um, especially amongst school age children, especially children who have opted to stay online this year. Um, for some of them, getting vaccinated might be the um, the reason that they choose to go back to school in person. And experts warn a path to herd immunity does involve vaccinating kids. McKenna King, ABC Action News.